Hey guys, it's me, Christine. It's me, Christina Marie. So I am um, doing an ombre or coloring my hair right now, and I thought I would show you guys what I did. So I just pulled my hair all forward, and I mixed up my bleach. Now I did 50 volume developer, and uh, the bleach that you get at Sally's, I don't think, unless you're a professional, you can buy 50, but you can buy 40. So I pulled everything forward, check it out. And I just like, you know, drowned it in um, the bleach. But what I did is I didn't make a straight line. I kind of went in like this, check it out. I went in like this and made lines the higher up I get. So I put all of the color on the entire bottom. And then, oops, there's more color on this side because it is drying. I'm sorry, not color. I put all the bleach on just like that at the ends. But then I went and I made these lines so it will blend better and more natural looking instead of a straight line. So I just made these lines. Get some more bleach on my brush and show you girls. Just kind of like striped it in. And then when I got to the top, as you can see, I did the same thing. I just get some more on the brush and I will show you. And I just did this and I did lines and hopefully these will come out really pretty looking highlights on the top so it grab so it's like a graduating ombre and then what I did is I combed all of it through just like this I left it on and I combed it and I combed it and you can see that it's lifting it's taking a while and so I'm going to leave this on my hair until I see a really nice, pretty light shade that I like, where I think it's almost there because I'm not gonna do like a dramatic ombre. Um, but I'm gonna shower, get out, and show you guys what it looks like. So this is what the color looks like when the hair dried. I just let it dry naturally, but check it out. Isn't that beautiful? Like really, really pretty. And I'm not even gonna put a toner on it. Look at that color and how it, it doesn't, it's like, it's not like this bold line. Look at that. It just like graduates up. Beautiful. So I'm Christina Marie. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial here. Give me a thumbs up if you could. I'm Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye. Okay, so this is what the color looks like. It turned out absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. And look very very natural looking not like this really really light color but i do want it to be a little bit lighter because i feel like it's a summer's around the corner and i want it just a little bit lighter and a little bit higher so i'm going to do a second application here for you girls okay so some of the tips that i forgot to mention was uh, i learned this by doing it the first time wrong or i didn't do it wrong i just burned myself so you do want to wear a long sleeve shirt and gloves because we're going to be reaching over and the peroxide can get on your arms and burn you you can buy your peroxide at sally's i'm using 50 i think people who are not professionals can buy 40 which that's fine and your bleach and then you're going to mix it together till it's a creamy consistency let's get started so you are going to need a towel or a rag or something to wipe your hands off on you're going to section off the hair i'm going to take large sections here so we're just going to section off the hair like this and pull this up and pin it. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna divide the bottom section into two, making sure there's no knots. And we're going to apply the color as so. Just making sure that you really get those ends very, very wet. Remember, when, remember when you're doing this, you do wanna work fast. So I'm going to do stripes as well. And then we're going to repeat this on the other side. And you do want to make sure that your ends are fully saturated. You see when you split the hair, how some it didn't get on some of the hair there. That's why you do sections because uh, if you do like too large of a section um, or the whole thing at once, you will miss those spots. 
Okay, you're going to get your comb and comb the end of the hair, making sure that it all goes through nice and even. Now I'm not pull, I'm not combing it all the way up yet because I want that to lift. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so I did the same thing to the other side. Now you're gonna take off, uh, take your towel, your rag, and wipe all the bleach off your hands because you do need to pull down that next section. Okay, so we're gonna pull down the next big section after you've wiped your hands off. We're only going to be doing three big, big sections. So you're gonna pull up your whole entire crown area right here. The crown area is what lays and shows more on your face than the other portions of your hair. Okay, so let's do the same thing. So we're gonna grab this big section on the side. You can see where the ombre was before, that's fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, once again, repeat that same, same technique. Now, when you get to the sides of the face right here, this is where you really want to kind of determine uh, how far up you want it to show. So do you want, you want it to show here? I actually like it to show a little bit higher. That's why I'm repeating this again. Um, I want it to show a little bit higher. So I'm going to bring it up and then I'm going to stripe it right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it because I want it around my hairline right there, stripe. Now, I don't want the other stripe completely, completely the same height as that stripe and stripe. Just like that. Now, make sure, once again, that your ends are completely wet. And we're going to take a brush and run it right through. Make sure that it's completely doused in there. Okay, when this starts lifting, when you notice that the upper portion starts lifting, then at the end, we're gonna run the brush through. But I'm gonna continue doing this all the way through and come back. I did wanna note real quick though, since you're over directing the hair from the back, you probably wanna go up a little bit higher than what you think you wanna go up because when you over direct it to the front, when it lays back, it's gonna be longer. So the color is not gonna be so high. Like I'm putting the color here, for example, and when it goes back, it's gonna be longer, okay? So you do want to take the color from, from your back sections a little bit higher. continue to the top section. Make sure you wipe all that bleach off your hands once again. And look at this. I would have been totally burned on my arms if I wasn't wearing this shirt. You can see where the bleach touched all over the shirt. Okay, so this is all preference. Um, you want, the way that you wear your hair is the way that you want to highlight it. So I typically wear my hair with a part over here. Actually, I wear my hair all different ways, but the majority of the time I wear my hair with the part over there. So what I'm gonna to need to do is I'm gonna do the same technique, but I'm gonna bring it up. But when you come to your top section, okay, let me just kind of do my part real quick. When you come to this top section, you want to highlight the part, okay? So you're going to streak it straight down. And obviously if you can get straighter lines than what I just did right there, that would be better. So let me just do this little section right here first. On the top sections where you wanna pay the most attention, because this is the most visible part of the hair, like I was mentioning. So I'm going to highlight all of this bottom here and just run it through, kind of work it into the hair. And then I want to bring up these lines, okay? But I wanted, I wanted, I wanted uh, this a little bit higher, like I mentioned. So I want the line to be up here. There we go. Making sure that these lines are nice and straight and it's going to blend lovely throughout the whole thing. So we're gonna just continue doing this. Now I do want that color to look gradual. So I'm actually going to just run all these lines on the top real quick. Make sure you do not get bleach in your eye. Now I do have bangs. So what I do is I push my bangs back and then I put the stripes just like that. and then do the rest to the top section. 
just like we did with everything else. It looks all like it just caked on right there, but we're gonna fix that and then we're gonna stripe it in so it goes up and it looks more natural. Remember to also comb it through. So it looked all crazy before, but when you comb it through, it kind of just starts making it all nice and soft. And then it will be actually be easier in some ways to make those stripes. I know it looks crazy, but it is going to blend beautifully. So just go in and piece it out. Ooh! <laughs> so it's lifting. You obviously can see my hair is becoming lighter and lighter. So this is the part where you get your brush and you comb everything together, right? And why am I doing this? Because it's already lifting. So I want that, I want that color to be, you see how it gradually goes up a little bit more? So what it's gonna do is going to, if it gradually goes up a little bit more, it's gonna make those, those, those ugh, I'm so tongue tied. Okay, so this is already light, right? But I'm pushing it up a little bit more. So this is gonna be a little bit lighter. Sorry, this is gonna be a little bit darker than the lighter. So it's gonna be a graduation from lighter darker to dark okay and that's what's going to make it look really cool so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my brush and i'm going to comb all this through you see just slick it all out wait a few more minutes till it's the lighter shade that i want and i'm going to shower and show you guys what it looks like but you look you can already see how light it's getting so it's lighter you can see right now it's lighter it's darker, it's darker, and then it becomes really dark. Look at that, you can totally see the color right there. Now that I've combed it all, all I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm spreading out my hair and making sure there, there's no spots that I've missed on accident or that I think that are still a little bit too dark. So if there are, just grab those spots like I just did and just run some color on them and you do want to comb it as well so you see that spot that i just did then i'm just going to comb it and this is lightening very nicely you can see okay so this might actually happen to you like it's happened to me look at how beautiful the graduation color is but the bleach has become dry so look at my hair it's just like sticking together you don't want that because your uh, bleach will stop working so i'm going to mix up a little bit more and i'm going to run it through okay so i mixed up a little bit more and now we're just going to continue running it through okay so i'm just going to be drawing on some more stripes like this just to reactivate the um the bleach because when it dries it stops working okay so i'm just going to do that to this side as well and don't panic, this is going to turn out lovely. Okay, once it's through, you're going to comb it because you want this bleach to be wet. If you feel that it's still too dry, you can just totally do this and get the bleach and put it on the ends of the hair like this. Work it in and then comb it. Okay, it's shower time. You can see how light it's lifted. Look at this. This is practically like a blondish color. Um, and I don't want to go super, super light, but it has lifted the majority. The top still needs a little bit lifting. So what you could do, which is optional, if your top has not lifted yet, as quick as your bottom have, has, you can take this whole section here, watch. Let me take this whole section and we're gonna pin this up. While this is lifting, I'm gonna get in the shower and I'm gonna wash this off. Not wetting that, obviously. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. I just curled it and I'm gonna run my fingers through my curls so you guys can see the final look. This was the Oni streak right here that I think turned out just a pinch too light, but it doesn't matter, it's underneath anyways. So check it out. So let's run the fingers through and you guys tell me what you think of the color. What do you think? It's not blonde, 
because um, I didn't want it blonde, but I did want it lighter, a much, much lighter shade of brown, and that's what it turned out to be like.